is why I need it. A job. And all these people are turning me down. They don't think that disabled people need something too. We all need help. We're not. And can I tell you, we are the most dedicated people because we know we have a lot to lose. I started out at UWE doing business administration. But I found that I was not a lover of business administration. I love people. So I switched from that to human resource management. And I was going to UCC at that time. Before I completed that course, however, I, I started working at the Ministry of uh, works in 1998. 1998, I started out there. Thanks be to God, my 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 mother's um, friend, neighbor, she got me an interview, and I went in as a little clerk at the time. You know, I went in as a clerk, and from there. I was moving up the ranks from the clerk to registrar and then I moved from works and went on to um, town planning I think it was and that's where I transitioned to the love of my life, personal management and from personal management I went to, into the ministry of water and that's where I spent the longest time of my life in the government service. I didn't feel like there was much prejudice at the time because I, I, I had a supervisor. He started, when he interviewed me he, did, he, he made me feel welcome and I was okay with him. I went on to um, from personal then because I wanted to get um, more money I saw an opportunity to transition into administration and I took up that position and I went on into administration that is where I spent the bulk of my training my, my work life although I had a degree in HR. I eventually gained my um, my degree in HR. But the admin was where I got the opportunity to um, get increased salary, increased benefits. So I was able to get a house, get a car, continue promotion going up, skills. Before I left, I was at, um, the last post was director of employee relations because they saw that I, I finally wanted to transition now into HR. So I, they gave the open, that opportunity was open to me. But just as I, it, it, not that I wanted to leave at that time, when that position came, unfortunately for me, now remember, I already walk with a limp. So I have one disability already dealing with. 2017 was another turning point in my life. I had a stroke. That stroke affected my brain and it affected my vision. I couldn't see, well, initially I couldn't see at all. Initially I could not see anything. I had to be led. Somebody had to be holding my hand, carrying me around all over the place. At that time, the government was offering, um, what do I call it now? Um, early retirement. Yeah, early retirement. That one was a special one where they would 
pay you off a certain amount of money and you know, it came with a special benefit. At the time, it sounded like a good idea to me. It sounded like a good idea and I said, well, maybe because I'm not seeing so well, I should take it up, right? I took it up in 2018. While I was at home, I didn't realize that my sight, like, like, um, what's his name? My favorite, Samson. Like Samson, my favorite character. My sight was restoring while I was at home recovering. So I'm saying, wait, I can see a little bit better than when they told me that I couldn't see. And I started to get excited over the little changes. When I'm driving on the road with my mom, I said, Mom, I can see the, the sign. I can now see numbers. And I couldn't read up the account and general department. That was difficult. I couldn't see it. But now I can read it. And I'm saying, my God, my eyes have been is, is restoring. While well, my sight was restoring. My finances were going down, and I, my husband, um, he's a mechanic, and uh, during COVID, he lost his job, and we were having struggles because pension really can't do anything. The one money just couldn't cut it. And I'm saying, Lord, I need to be able to do something for a second income. I sent some resume out to a friend of mine. And he was posting them all over the place. The resumes were reaching people and they were calling me and saying, come in for interviews. And I was attending these interviews and the, 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 the interviewers were saying, you have such an impressive um, resume and all of that. What can I tell you? Some people quarrel and say, why they never get an interview call? I got nearly 40. Nearly 40 interviews. And I couldn't get a job. I got depressed. I've been going to interviews up to, can I tell you, up to last week? Up to last week. So I've already passed the party that I tell you about. I've already passed it. I stopped counting. I have stopped counting. There are many times I gave up. I said, not one more interview. I turned down interview because it was frustrating to go and waste and it's taxi fear I take. It's chartered taxi fear I take to attend these interviews and nothing is materializing. At the same time, my um our standard of living was falling. The little money that I got when we got the um the pre retirement, it ran out. Because Scotia started calling me. Um, this is you on you're in the arrears. They sent somebody to evaluate my house. And so they went to sell my house. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is why I need a job. And all these people are turning me down. They don't think that disabled people need something to. We all need help. We're not, and can I tell you, we are the most dedicated people because we know we have a lot to lose. I even wrote to the Prime Minister telling him that I want to be that voice for the government to represent the, the civil service, um, those civil servants who are being marginalized. I wrote the Prime Minister. I don't know if you saw the letter, but I did write to him. I wrote to 
Ministry of Finance asking them if they can reinstate me back in the government. Because when they gave us that package, they said we could not come back into the government until five years' time. I was asking, could they not shorten the five years? But guess what? The five years is this year. So, you know, it took me, it took me five years of trying just to get back. Let me call it four and a half years just trying to get back into the working world. Not many stories have been told, but I'm sure that there are many others who are going through rough seasons because no one is giving them a chance, nobody is giving them a break, you know, to show that they can do the job. It's not about how you walk. It's not about even how you speak. You know, we have, um, we're, we're blessed with the skills and the talent to perform. I'm not saying that you're just to just hire the person without any skill set, but you give them the, the interview and see, be fair.